doing the ass in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> he's currently starring in Joseph and his amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat at the New London Theatre. Please welcome Stephen Gately. <laughs> Seen you since you were on with the boys and on my that show. That was a long time ago. It wasn't, yeah. well, it wasn't that long. It was a few, few years back. Not that long. Years, Seems four longer. Four or five than... years ago. But was it really? I haven't seen you in a while. I know either. you're right. Yeah, I'm very well. You look very well. I've been watching the show and I've been tuning in always. And congratulations on your award. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. We'll um, we'll get to boys zone in a minute. Uh -huh. But let's talk about Joseph and his Technicolor dream coat. You're always. Well, you've been following in very difficult footsteps here. Jason Donovan, mm -hmm. uh, Philip Schofield, Donny Osman. Yeah. Did, did you think, oh, should I be doing this? I purposely didn't want to watch any videos, listen to any, anyone else sing it, because I didn't want to copy. I didn't want the press or the, the media to be saying, oh, he's copying the style of this. So I wanted to make my own, so I purposely didn't. And people have said, yeah, you have made it your own. So I think that's a good tip for anybody. Never worry about what the rest are doing. Yeah, do your How own How am I going to deal with yeah. this? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Now, you don't wear a lot in this show, Stephen. <laughs> I don't. Just a loincloth, isn't Just it? Just a, a, a piece of toweling. It's like a tea towel. <laughs> a great got, tea towel. I think we've got a picture we've of you in your loincloth. There you are. Yeah, hey. Oh, that's not... I thought it was shorter than that. I saw a picture with one that was shorter than that. Yeah, there is shorter ones. Oh. <laughs> that's the lunchtime that's the long one. one. That's the lunchtime <laughs> one, yeah. <laughs> but you've had to lose a bit of weight. I mean, your body looks fantastic on that face. You're right. really in shape, Thank you very much. You? Well, not really. Not as good shape as I'd like to be, but, uh, yeah, I had to lose a lot of weight. Well, I, I needed to lose a lot of weight. How much weight did you lose? Just under two stone. Really? Mmm. Is all yeah. that on-the-road stuff? Was... No, uh, yeah, all that. All, all that, those cheap those, food yes, and stuff? Yes, you know, all yeah. that junk food, uh. as you do. And jersey has been running for 35 years. This is a brand-new production of it, is that yeah. right? Yeah, and I have to say, it's a great production of it. It's the, the set is amazing. It's really fun. There's lots of surprises in, in there, and the cast are wonderful to work with, and they're, they're very talented people. It's not about being in a show, the camaraderie, isn't it? All the giggles and the laughs, it's fantastic. And every night is different. Although it's the same show, every night you have a different experience, and you'll have a laugh with certain particular people, and that's what I love about it. Mm. And it's great. It's a family-orientated show. It's for everybody, and it's good fun. Well, we've like got a clip it. of you. There's a little Do clip you? of Let's the have whole show here, or, or some of the members of the cast. People come out on a, on a high, and that's why. It's it's just... a, yeah, it's a good good show. Now, a lot of Boyzone fans are coming to see you, yeah. aren't they? They're packing it's it out. Good. Yeah. And um, they had some extraordinary credits, Boyzone, over the years. We're trying to work out six number one singles, four number one albums, and now we have a new album out. It's a the oh, Boyzone, yeah. the Love Collection, and it's went in at number six without hardly any promotion this amazing. week, and it's so isn't amazing. It crazy it's still that a fan you, base. Isn't it crazy that even now, without any promotion, mm -hmm. isn't it crazy that you guys are kind of... Why did it, have, why did it all just separate? We no, decided, you didn't split up officially, did No, you? we never had an official split. We decided to take a year and a half off and do our own thing, and then we decided to get back together, but we didn't. <laughs> it's a shame. Okay, let's touch shame. on a very important <laughs> moment in your life. A couple of years back, you had the courage, and I mean the courage, to come out and say, I'm gay. Yeah. All right? And that caused one heck of a stir, because mm. certainly no member of a boy band had ever stood up and admitted that. Um, do you think, looking back, you made the right decision? Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. It's a sense of freedom, regardless of how your career is going to take off afterwards. You need to be true to yourself, and that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be me. And, you know, you can't lie, and... It, I just went into a bit of a depression for a while, and it, you know, I just said, "I'm going to be myself." Do the my response thing. was amazing, though. Was amazing. You got so many positive letters yeah. and everything. Yeah, and I got letters from young teenage people, you know, who said, "You know, you've helped me to come out to my parents, or you know, to be myself," and that's more rewarding yeah. itself. Yeah, and, and, and a lot of people kind of rallied round you, worry about you. I know because I spoke about John <laughs> about this actually. He was sitting down there with David Furnish down in Nice, and they actually said, "Hey, let's ring, let's ring him up. Let's just yeah. say hello and, and invite you down." They invite me down. I went to stay there for a week, and they they are just the most beautiful people. They're really generous and really supportive of people, and they don't 
really care what you do as long as you're a nice person and they like you and you know they I went down there and I had a wonderful time for a week and had really good fun and met lots of nice people through them so I'm very grateful to them. Do you know what's mad about the whole thing is when Will Young came out recently there wasn't really a big fuss because I think almost well public attitude has changed but you kind of paved the way for that to be okay. Well I don't know about that but I think it's just becoming more acceptable you know and they're not shocked the public anymore though no they understand this, this, this is this is what's happening in the well, world this, this is a person it's not you don't ask for it yourself you know right. this is the way it is and you know the, the people are beginning to realize well there's nothing we can do we're took not going to change them yes. took a bit of nerve to be the first to say it. now is it true <laughs> that you can see and have seen ghosts <laughs> yeah tell yeah. us about this I, I never really talk about it because well, I, I think people are so skeptical and people, you know, it, certain people believe in it and certain people just think Wait, it's complete I rubbish. I think people are... You've seen a ghost? No, I've sensed one, though. Yeah. I've sensed it. They've yeah, I've it. kind of been seeing them since I was three. Wow. What kind of form do they take? Well, there was a, there was a guy who used to come into the bedroom and kind of um, just come in from the wall. There was five kids in the one bedroom and I'd be the only person on it. I'd just, just seen he'd torn and just go through the wall. And this has gone on for years, and then he followed us from the flat to the house where we lived. And then uh, my mother's room was always ice cold, so he kind of hung out there. And I wouldn't go into the shower unless my mother was sitting on top of the stairs, because I'd sense him behind. Wow. But it doesn't so, seem to scare you. It doesn't scare me, but, you know, I don't really talk about it that much. Uh, because well, I've had loads of experience. Thanks but. for coming in and talking <laughs> no, to us anyway. No, thank you very, very Good much. Luck it's lovely to see you. you. Really and, lovely to see you. Congratulations Stephen on Stephen Lager, I'm Stephen Gay. Good luck with it. Stephen Gailey. Now today's phone in is... Apologist and Sergeant Drake. In.